Hello, I am a student working on independent study with Dr. Ganair. And in the previous video, I showed how to model a simply supported concrete beam with a nodal displacement on the mid span and the negative y direction. So now we're going to look at the output files that the processor has generated. We can first see that all 200 output files are here all of our necessary input files and output files are also here we can see the vector 5 processor and the data program we will open the structure data file and we can see that the number of members member types number of joints support restraints is all here we can see that there are seven nodes we described the coordinates for the nodes and we can see the member indices, the support restraints, member specifications, the concrete layers, rebar layers, which we've input into Formworks Plus, which pre-processed for the processor Vector 5. You can see all of our six members have been in the output list. This is critical. So that way we can run the Janus software, which will be also shown in this video. To close this file, now we can go to an output file and I will show you there are this is the second load stage 38th iteration we can see the loading condition here the parameters for the analysis the convergence factors, compatibility forces, member end forces, the reactions at the supports due to the loading, the joint displacements here, we can see the member deformations, and we can see also the moment, axial load, shear, curvature, strain, and shear strain for this load stage. And now it is important to understand it is the goal is to plot the load versus deflection curve for the beam. So in order to do so, we need to extract the results. We will run the vector 5 data y since we are displacing it in the y direction. The load file is ID. Reaction node is 1. Displacement node is 7. Runs through all 200 files go to the results file we can see here it's got the displacement versus the reaction here and we can copy and paste all of this into Microsoft Excel which I've already done at our convenience we can see here that we have doubled the load since we are loading at the mid span we need to double the load and here is our load versus deflection kilonewtons versus millimeters deflection on the x-axis load on the y-axis for beam VSA1 which is from this document that I've showed previously in the previous videos it's experimental and analytical re-examination of classic concrete beam tests by Vecchio and Shim and we can see these are American units these are the metric units for all 12 of the beams that they've tested as well as the material properties here and we can also see the data that has been plotted for these beams all of this low versus deflection data the beam VSA1 which we have in our Excel file right here and now we can use the Janus software which is located in our downloads which we showed in previous videos we open Janus we run Janus and now we can open our job file for our beam you can see that it's loading the job file and the structure files this is the beam we previously modeled and we can see it is restrained here we can see the support restraints and now using this view this is the two this is the line model and this this program reads the date the load files the output files and we can see how it is deforming here we can see our force versus 
our dy here and our node is seven we can even set a load stage if we want to and now we can see it had failed now if we go back to load stage one and we go to show it as an actual beam here as we increase the load stages we can see that the beam is indeed failing and we can see the cracking the rebar stresses the deflections and we can we can obtain the slow deflection data and we can also see our different views here um, we can go to the layer view remember we can go to four to see our concrete layers we can see our cracking view for member four we can see all the cracks here we can also increase the load stages and see it crack and this load deflection data can also be obtained from Janus as well by clicking on the data platform dialog and we can plot the data as well so we can also create the excel file from here as well um, I hope you have enjoyed watching our video and have a great day